my friends, it's Pastor Ruth again from the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire. And I come here every Wednesday to send a special message to the children of our church. And so I just wanted to say that I am so happy that you have come here to to listen and to share with all of us because even though we can't be together in person, we are together in our hearts because we love each other. So I wanted to pick up a little bit on what I was talking to you about last week. Now I hope that you watched my video last week and if not, you can find it on my YouTube channel. And I talked about families. Do you remember that I talked about that families, the people in families don't always look like each other? and that there are many different kinds of families and that our familyness that's not a word i just made that up but our being a family is not made up of just people who look like each other there could be people that look very different than each other there are all kinds of families there are families like mine that only had one parent there are families with two parents there are families that have multiple because they have step parents. There are families that have grandparents or aunts or uncles. There are families with lots of kids. There are families with just one kid. But all of them are family because they are all defined by the same thing. What makes a family is love. And that's the only thing that makes us family. And so I wanted to follow up a little bit about that this week. And in, uh, in addition, I want to add on to talking about families this week. This week, I want to talk about friends and what makes us friends. Now, I have a friend I was thinking about this week because I talked to her on the phone. And her name is Diana. And Diana and I have been friends since shortly after I graduated college, which is almost 40 years ago. Now, we met because we both loved the same book. And we met through people who also liked that book. That book was Lord of the Rings. I don't know if you've heard about it. They've made a movie about it. But we both loved that book and 40 years ago. And so we got together and uh, that was a way of, that was something we started talking about early on in our relationship. But we found that we really liked talking to each other and so we didn't have to just talk about that book. We talked about all kinds of different things in our lives. Now, we didn't have a lot of things in common in our lives. I went to college for psychology and I worked as a counselor and I liked home things. I liked to make quilts and I liked to bake and I liked to hike and things like that. And my friend Barbara went to school, to art school, and got a degree in fine arts. And she worked as an illustrator of children's books. And I dressed pretty uh, casually most of the time that I saw her. I wore fancier clothes to work, but most of the time when I was not working, I would wear jeans and a sweater or a t-shirt or something like that and sneakers or hiking boots. And she always wore these beautiful bright colors and flowing outfits, very sophisticated, very creative looking. And so I remember one time I was meeting her, we were meeting in a coffee shop and we were just going to have lunch together. And so I went in and I told the people, I'm waiting for one person. And they let me sit down. And I said, just waiting for my friend before I order. And then she came in and sat down. And the wait waiter came up and looked at her and looked at me and went. And I thought, well, I wonder what that was about. And I thought, you know, we don't look like we have a lot in common. We look different. We dress different. And so this person thought, well, you know, how can these two people be friends when they're so different? When the reality is underneath all of that, we were connected. We had a deep friendship that was based on more than just a book, more than if we worked in the same area, more than if we dressed alike. We 
cared about each other and our friendship went beyond that book to the fact that it still goes on today. Honestly, we haven't talked about that book in years because our friendship is so much more than that. Now, when Jesus was getting to the end of the time that he would be here on earth, he was thinking a lot about his friends, the disciples, who had been traveling with him and being with him and supporting him and loving him, and he loved them too. And he was concerned about leaving them. And so before he left near the end, he was praying to God for his friends. And he said to God, I love these people and I'm going to be leaving them. And I'm concerned for them. And so I want to ask you to especially look after my friends. Help them when I'm no longer here. Help them to be together, to continue to be together in their special friendship. The words he used is, I pray that they may all be one. Now that doesn't mean that they all were going to dress alike, or they were all going to look alike, or even that they were all going to agree on things all the time. Being one means being one in our hearts, being connected in love. The same thing that defines a family defines relationships outside of family, defines friendship. And so we in the church are also one, not because we look alike or dress alike, but because we love. We love because God loved us first. Now, we don't always agree. We don't always see things the same way. But we are willing to put more into our relationships than agreeing all the time. We're willing to commit to being together in love because that's what Jesus wants of us. And when we follow Jesus, we try to do what Jesus did. And so I'm going to invite you to pray with me now. Lord, we thank you for bringing us all kinds of friends. Friends that we like doing the same thing with, whether it be playing soccer or going to ballet class or just reading or playing together. We also thank you for friends who are very different than us, who look different, who may be different ages, who may enjoy different things, but we just care about them and want to be around them. We thank you for all these different kinds of friends and for you giving them to us. We pray that as we go through this week, we will be we will remember to tell our friends how much we like being their friend. Help us to remember that you want us to treat everybody with love, whether they're like us or not like us. Amen. So, as you go through your week, I hope you, it will be a great one for you. I hope that you have time to get out and play. And maybe you can catch up with some of your friends, whether they be your school friends or uh, friends outside school. Maybe you can talk on the phone or you can talk using some kind of device and be with each other. We're not all with each other in the exact same way these days, but we are still together in what matters, and that is love. So you have a great week, and I will see you next Wednesday here on YouTube or Sunday, either here on YouTube or on Zoom for church service. I'll see you then. I love you. Bye-bye.